Hi, it's Amy and I'm back with another shop owner vlog. I wanted to this week to film my March bullet journal, but I just got so busy filming my plan with me. It didn't happen, but I wanted to kind of share a little bit more behind the scenes because I know you really like that too. So this morning I spent my time foiling. So I have those that are on the go. I also still need to foil clear since I do those in batches. That's, yeah, Winston's just playing right now. And Elliot's downstairs playing piano. So Winston's just over here playing Legos quietly while I get some stuff done. But as I was saying, I like to foil in batches. I get questions all the time on you know, foil and how it's easiest. Definitely foil in temperature batches. Oh, sorry. Yes, okay, we'll film a dinosaur video next. <laughs> but I do matte first because it requires a lower temperature and then I do clear after because it requires a higher temperature. It also gives my foiler some time to cool down and have a break before I do it again because I have been known to burn out my foilers. I don't know if that's normal or if that's just me working it for too long. It's probably just me. But if you're a shop owner and you burn out your foilers, let me know <laughs> because I feel like I go through at least once a year. Oh, you want to show me? Okay, you come show me. Here is my piles. So here is the clear and I've got a few matte that still need to get foiled. So I'm going to do that today when I'm back in the office. And then I've got a lovely pile of matte here that I need to go through and organize these into like piles. So I put all the kits together and I will show you that when I'm done. And then over here I have my planner. I just finished this spread last night so I need to edit that video too. So that'll be coming. And I've been updating my March calendar. I'm trying to stick to my goals. I did release $2 Tuesdays yesterday and these are a few other things coming up, but we'll see if I'm able to stick to that. I don't like to be too rigid with my schedule because life happens. But I will check back in with you when I start foiling this afternoon. So I thought I'd also share when I'm not in the office working in the mornings, I also teach homeschool. So I'm just gonna grab out the stuff we have to do today and get that ready before we get started. And this is actually just in my kitchen. So I've got my coffee there and this is my kitchen. And there's Winston over there playing Lego. But I'm gonna figure out what we're gonna cover today for school and get that started. So I just grabbed a few things. Yesterday we did more of our kindergarten program and they're working on their letters. Today I'm working on more grade one stuff with Elliot. So we're working on some phonics work some math. Mama. He's been using these counters Mommy. to help. I see. Um, did they come over there? Okay, I'll come in just a minute. Winston's really into sharing his dinosaur creations. And we've been loving these Bob books for reading. And they also have coordinating workbooks, which I find that's been really helping him make his sight words more concrete. And Winston is gonna be working on his letter book. He yeah. likes coloring and working on his handwriting without tears. So he's only three, so this is just fun and more so working on his fine motor skills. Right, Win-Win? Yeah, nice, we'll see. <laughs> so we just finished school. We didn't get to reading, so I'm actually gonna bring this up to the playroom. I think we'll just sit and do a little bit of reading together and maybe I might do a read aloud with the boys. They really like that. We've been reading some chapter books, so we'll do that I think in a little bit. But right now I'm just letting them have some playtime and a little bit of a break before we're gonna get dressed and go outside. It's snowing a little bit here, so we'll see. I have a headache because of the weather change so I don't know how much I'm feeling up to, but I like to get fresh air every day. It really helps. 
and after this I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning around the house too, get that done before lunch because then after lunch I get to go back to work again. So right now, I'm foiling orders, as you can tell. I'm starting with the mat because it requires a lower temperature. So it's way easier to start with a lower temperature and then increase the temperature later. I also wanted to show you, for those of you that maybe foil and are frustrated, like oops happen all the time, even when you have everything figured out. So, I mean, this sheet's pretty good, but you can see there's a big imperfection right there so this will go into my oops pile and then when i get enough of these i list them in the shop which i think i still have a few left so if you like to get sheets like this one they do come to the shop every once in a while once i have enough and they do sell pretty quickly but this last batch i had a ton because i hadn't done it for a while so i believe there's still some left but I actually had to cut more because that was my last sheet of that one. So I just finished cutting this. So I'm gonna refoil it now. And hopefully a second time is a charm. So the other thing I do is I have this little container here. I'll show you. And this is where I keep scraps. I try and organize them by foil type. But whenever I have a sheet like this, where it's just a quarter sheet, I save the extra quarter and put it in here, organize by type, and then it's easy to grab and foil with it. So, let's see <laughs> if that one works better. So, moment of truth. So it's perfect, it just has a little bit of overfoiling, but I can get rid of that really quickly. So no problems on the sheet now. So normally when I foil, because it takes a little bit of time, I will put on a show on Netflix. Right now I've been watching New Amsterdam I'd started it when it first came out and then I think we got distracted with a different show so I stopped watching it. So I've decided to re-watch it now and I've been really into it. Let me know if you watch it too. I actually started drawing some art for it and I kind of want to make a doctor's kit. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. But I really like that show so far. I'm on the season one cliffhanger right now. So... I'm probably gonna put my headphones on right away and finish that while I foil. It just makes it way more enjoyable. <laughs> if you're wondering, I always listen with one ear out. <laughs> That's why you'll see my headphones always look funny on me. It's because I'm always listening for my kids. This is nap and quiet time. Elliot's actually in his room having quiet time because he has music lessons this afternoon and I want him to be rested. So I like to listen for them. If I have both on, I find I can't hear as much. So it concerns me. So that's why I look funny right now.
Now I'm gonna foil some clear stickers. This is the new Facebook freebie that's gonna be going out. So I'm just gonna foil the whole sheet. They've already been cut, so. My battery's flashing, so I'm gonna recharge it so that I can share a little bit more later. So I managed to finish that huge pile of foiling that I had over there. I'll just show you everything that I got done for today because that's all I have time for. I won't be coming back in and working tonight, I don't think. I may just edit my plan with me tonight if I do any work, but I'll just show you what I have done. So over here, I have all of the clear foiled and ready to go. So I just need to organize that pile along with the other piles I have. These are all foiled albums, so it's the covers. So in the morning, I will make these into their albums. I have some restocks here, and then I also have those Facebook freebies that I showed you. So the way I make these is I print them, cut them, and then I foil the entire sheet. And then I will go in and hand cut these with my cutter because it's just a lot faster to foil these as an entire sheet instead of just the individual squares. So that's all done. I think that's everything in here. It's a little bit of a mess over here because I've been busy filling orders. I've got bins full of orders that need to be filled. So hopefully I can finish that today. <laughs> Well, sorry, tomorrow morning, I'll finish and pack up those orders. My goal is to have the Foil Friday orders out before Friday. So they only were in production for a week, which would that would be nice. But I feel like this week just keeps on giving me curveballs. My husband just had his infusion yesterday. He has Crohn's and he's not feeling good. So, so he is at the hospital now. So... I have to get childcare back up to watch Winston so that I can still take Elliot to his lessons this afternoon while I wait on his results. So that's another reason why I won't be getting back into the shop today, which is fine. Um, one of the perks of running your own business is that you know you can kind of work at it when you can. One of the negatives of running your own business is that there's no one else to kind of fill in for you when you have to sort of drop everything but that's kind of how it goes. Thankfully, I'm still on track with these orders to get them out in time, so I think I'll be fine. I think I'll end the vlog here. Um, we'll see, maybe I'll do another vlog tomorrow as I pack up these orders, but I'll start as a fresh one. But thank you so much for watching. Um, please let me know if you have any questions or comments. I will respond to them as I can. And you can also connect with me on Instagram and I also have a Facebook group. So head over there too. Um, I love chit-chatting with you there as well. But have a great day. Mm -hmm.